Traffic. Welcome to uh, this uh, press conference as we introduce Saturday's Mid-South MMA Championships 3. 3 uh, means several things. 3, first of all, means this is the third installment of the Mid-South MMA Championships. 3 also means it's three times better than anyone we've ever had. Uh, we were excited about one because we had such a great line of fights. Then we got excited about two because we thought, man, how could we ever put together a better lineup than one? And then along comes three. Without a doubt, the best lineup that we've ever had. Fifteen fights, five of them title fights. What an incredible night at the DeSoto Civic Center this Saturday night, October the 8th. And uh, we know we're going to have a huge crowd. Tickets are, are just going like crazy. They're only 25 bucks a piece. Uh, what an incredible value. Tw uh, Fifteen fights. For only $25. That's less than $2 a fight. Where else can you find such an incredible deal than the DeSoto Civic Center on Saturday night? We're going to let you meet some of the fighters uh, this afternoon. Uh, before we do that, I want to take care of, of a couple of housekeeping things. First of all, thanks to Mike Glenn and the News AZ Theater. Mike Glenn, the king of Beale Street, uh, and a huge supporter of of Crossfight MMA and Crossfight Boxing. Thank you, Mike Glenn, for allowing us to be here in this great historic theater as we introduce an historic night of fighting at the DeSoto Civic Center. Also, a huge thank you. Crossfight is so thrilled to announce uh, that Stand Up Fighter has come on as a major sponsor of this event. They're also the official clothing provider of Crossfight MMA. Torian Whitlow is here with SUF. Torian, thank you for being here. Company's commitment and dedication uh, to Prize Fight MMA. What an awesome opportunity for Prize Fight to partner with Stand Up Fighter, a truly uh, industry standard uh, for clothing and apparel. Well, let me introduce to you uh, some of the fighters that we've got. Uh, an incredible card. You'll see on the card a number of amateur matches, all of them great matches. You'll want to get there early and not miss a single one of them. Uh, Jamie Houston, who you'll hear from in just a minute, has put together just a phenomenal card of matches on both the amateur and professional level. Uh, and you'll see those listed there. We also have, obviously, a number of professional fights, five title fights that night. Let me tell you who we've got up here uh, right now, and then I'm going to invite them in just a minute uh, to come say a word to you. Uh, up here with us right now, the infamous AO is up here, an incredible fighter, 2-2 two two record coming in. Looking forward to going up against Derek Lehman. Also, Chris Hawk is here. Chris Hawk, veteran of 12 fights. Uh, he is excited and got an exciting fight coming up. Brian Law Hall. Brian is going to make, be making his professional debut. Uh, it's going to be an exciting night for you going against Jeremy Wallace. We've also got Brandon Harder here. Brandon is 2 and 0 undefeated in his MMA career. We're looking forward to Brandon fighting. Well, we've got the current middleweight champion who's going to be defending his title. He's 2 and 0. Cody Shuffield is here. We're so excited for Cody. I know you're excited about your fight coming up. Also, uh, I'm not sure if he's made it yet or not, Jacob Noe, uh, who's our uh, current lightweight heavyweight champ, a 5 and one record. He's going to be fighting as well. Austin Lyons, 8-1. Austin's going to be fighting for the lightweight championship belt. You are in store for a treat uh, when you come and watch Austin Lyons fight. What a great fighter. And Jimmy White. Jimmy White is in our... Um, Jimmy is in our uh, amateur division. Jimmy's 8-3-1, and, and you're going to be excited to see uh, Jimmy White fight. I want to invite these fighters, if they will, uh, to come up and just say a word about their fight coming up. Uh, let's start, Infamous AO, let's start with you. Come up and offer a word about your fight coming up on Saturday night. How are everybody doing? Um, it's fun because this matchup is actually something I've been wishing for since the first time me and Derek met up two years ago as amateurs. It was a pretty pretty tough fight. Went all three rounds, well, two and a half. He, uh, he ended up submitting me in the third round, so that's been on my revenge card for a little while, so I've been hoping for this fight for a long time. Um, He's one of the tougher guys that I've faced in my whole fight career. Had good cardio. Mm. I mean, I, I can't say too much, you know, it's just a blur from fights, what happened, but what happened in my fight, that's pretty much all I know about him. 
I don't know how, if he's improved or I know I have, so hopefully he has improved a bit in the last two years. And I, I plan on coming down and putting on a clinic to show, showcase some of my skills some people hear about but haven't seen yet. So I plan on showing out. And infamous AO is going to be fighting Derek Lehman. And Derek's here. Derek is an amateur, was 19 1. Uh, this will be his second pro fight. Derek, you want to come up and, and offer a word to us about your fight coming up? I'm Derek Lehman. Uh, this uh, came out here to Memphis. Uh, Start training at Memphis 2002 with uh, Dave Ferguson. I've been training hard uh, since I've been back from a deployment to Afghanistan. All I'm doing is training. Found out about this fight probably about a month and a half ago. I'm ready for it, ready as I'll ever be. Physical shape, cardio, weight-wise. Um, I'm gonna go out there and just bring the fight to him. Do what I gotta do. That's pretty much it. Thanks, Derek. All right, appreciate that, Derek. That's gonna be an exciting fight. Chris Hawk is gonna be taking on uh, Cody Sheffield. That's going to be an exciting fight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you don't want to miss that one at all. All of the fights are going to be just incredible. But uh, Cody Sheffield, of course, your current Mid-South middleweight champion. Uh, he's from Water Valley, Mississippi. Uh, it's going to be a fun night for sure. Uh, Chris Hawk, why don't you come tell us, give us a little word about your fight. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, this is going to be my debut at uh, middleweight, and I'm really excited about it. I've been training hard. Uh, it's going to be one of the first fights I've had in a couple of years that I've actually uh, that I've actually trained for, you know, and taken taken as serious as I should have. And uh, I know Cody's tough. I've watched his fights plenty of times. I've seen him fight. You know, I know he's got a great chin, ready to brawl. So, you know, I'm prepared. I know he's prepared. I think it's going to be a great fight. Chris, thank you. And like I said, Chris is going to take on Cody Sheffield, current Mid-South middleweight champion. Cody, come share a word with us about fighting Chris. I'd just like to thank Prize Fight Promotion for putting this fight on. Uh, it's been a great, having a good time at the DeSoto Civic Center. I'd like to thank uh, Stand Up Fighter. And uh, I'd also just like to say, you know, about the fight, everybody's got a plan if they get hit. And that's my only plan is to hit him. So everybody come out there and uh, buy your tickets and get them fast because they're going to they're be a seat left. All right, making his professional debut, as I told you, is Brian the Law, Brian the Law Hall. We're looking forward to seeing his fight. Uh, of course, he's taking on Jeremy Wallace. Brian, why don't you come up and share with us a little bit about fighting Saturday night? First, first of all, I'd like to thank God first. Um, thank you guys for inviting me to this great show. I've been to the last two, so I know I'm going to have to bring my game and put on a clinic, like uh, A.O. said, and try to show all your, show, show all your skills, because I want to be on the level that Austin Lions on, uh, ready to compete with the big guys. And I think this is the time for me to shine. I've been getting a lot of fights the last couple of years, and I'm ready to move past the lower level um, competition like I've been doing in amateur, I'm ready to go pro and I'm going to show uh, why I'm turning pro here Saturday. And thank y'all for coming and hopefully y'all going to enjoy the show that I put on against Jeremy Wallace Saturday. Thank you. Brian Hall, we're excited about your pro debut. Our next fighter, undefeated at 2-0, and oh, Brandon Harder is going to be taking on Anthony Jones. Brandon, come up and share with us a few thoughts about Saturday night. How you doing? Uh, first, I'd like to thank Brian Rush for putting on this event. This will be my second time to fight on this, uh, on this event. Uh, Nate Yoder and Jamie Houston also for their contribution to this. Unbelievable card. I'm very excited. Kind of a uh, resurrection to my career. I've been out for two years doing other things. Um, as far as my training, I like for that to, uh, just for my fighting to uh, speak for itself. Appreciate it. All right, 
Jacob Noe is going to be in action. He's 5-1, our current light heavyweight champ. Jacob is going to be taking on Adrian Miles and defending that belt. Jacob, would you come up and just say a word to us about your fight on Saturday night? Hey, how's it going, people? Um, I would like to thank Brian Young for this opportunity. Uh, once again, uh, I get to show my skills and defend the belt. Um, we want to keep it home here in Memphis. Uh, guys coming from Birmingham. Alabama to contest me for the belt, but uh, I believe I'm gonna, I'm gonna show what I got and come out victorious. Thanks a lot. All right, Austin Lyons is our next one. He is the main event as he takes on Matt Trailer out of Knoxville. Of course, Austin Lyons fighting for the lightweight championship. Austin at eight and one. Austin, you got to be excited to be the main event. Come up and tell us, share with us some of your thoughts about Saturday night. I'm super pink excited. Uh, I can't wait to uh, to get for Saturday to get here so I can do it. And I'd like to thank Brian Hall for being so sweet when he got up here and was talking about me. He didn't tea. But uh, on, on a serious, on a more serious note, I'm ready for Saturday. I'm ready to uh, for me and Trailer to get in there and get it on and. Let me show everybody what separates me from the rest of the pack at 155 in the area and move on to bigger and better things. Thanks. All right, and the last one of our fighters, our amateur, we'll hear from is Jimmy White. Jimmy, a record of 8-3-1. and one. He is going to be fighting Tyler Hatley on Saturday night. Jimmy, you've got the final amateur fight of the evening. Come share with us your thoughts about the Saturday night. Well, hello, y'all. I'd just like to say that. Uh, it's kind of hard to being up here and the only amateur around all you great fighters. It's, up here. it's an honor, actually. But uh, one thing I just want to let you know, when I go into the cage, I will go in with 100% heart. Don't matter who I'm fighting. The last time me and Tyler fought at the uh, championship, the first one, it was a draw. We won fight of the night. He only beat me because I was scared of him. That's When, I, when we had a draw, he, I consider it a loss. I didn't come home with the win. You know, I worked all through it. He, he don't work as hard as me. I promise you this time I will take it. I will make blood come. There will be pain. And this will make him realize he's not the fighter he thought he was. And I, I just want to thank Jamie Houston for allowing me to be in this fight because I am the meanest 155er on the planet. And one day Austin Lyon will find that out. <laughs> There's our fighters, ladies and gentlemen. Let me bring up a, a special guest and very important person that's a part of all of the Mid-South MMA Championships, Dave Ferguson, uh, who is Mid-South Judo and Jiu-Jitsu. Dave obviously trains a number of these fighters, very active in MMA all across the nation. Uh, Dave, in and of himself, is a, is a legend in MMA. Dave, come and talk to us about our lineup on Saturday night. Thank you, Chuck. Uh, let me first of all clear one thing up. I'm not a legend. I appreciate it anyway, though. Um, let me just talk about this card. This is a, a stellar card. This is a great card, one of the best cards I've seen in the area um, ever. And I want everybody to understand that these guys take so much pride in their training and their fight camps, and they've done a lot of hard work and put in a lot of effort. Um, and all these matchups are stacked matchups. There's not an easy matchup on this card, so I hope all of you folks come out and support the card, support these fighters. And uh, let me say also thank you to uh, Jamie Houston for doing an awesome job putting this card together. Jamie. And thanks to Brian Young for uh, putting a lot of faith in these guys. Thank you, Brian. And I hope to see everybody out at the show Saturday night. All right. Well, Dave uh, called him out, as several others have. Uh, the uh, matchmaker for Saturday night uh, is Jamie Houston, a, a great fighter in his own right, for sure. Uh, and I'd like to invite Jamie to come forward and talk a little bit about these matches that he's put together for Saturday night. Jamie? First off, I want to tell all these fighters they're very cute as well. Just, I don't want anybody to out there you know, the cutest thing. <sighs> anyway, uh, man, I just want to really just talk about the fact that, uh, you know, I take a lot of pride in, in, uh, in matchmaking. Um, I was given the opportunity, uh, I guess maybe about March of earlier this year to do the, sh the first show. And, um, you know, I brainstorm and I worked real hard with Dave and uh, he helped me along the way. And uh, I, 
I, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, uh, it's a gift or, or what it is, but I just see the matchups in my mind. And um, um, I just know that it's going to be great matchups. And my key to, to doing it is making it a quality event. Um, having quality fighters, having world-class fighters on the card and giving them a challenge in front of them uh, and it, for it to be a fan-friendly uh, show, you know. Um, that's, you know, that's what we're here to do. We're here to entertain. And uh, as we entertain, we, we compete uh, as from a fighter standpoint. And um, me as a fan and a matchmaker, I feel like I know what uh, people want to see. Uh, so that's basically, you know, what I've done with this card. Um, every fight from top to bottom is uh, very competitive. Um, and there are some absolute favorites in my mind uh, for that night. Um, and, and I'm so excited uh, for the card, uh, not only for myself to see what transpires, but it's almost like, uh, you know, taking my vision of matchups and putting it in the cage and watching the fans go nuts when these guys get into it and, and go to war. And that's what uh, makes me so passionate about what I do. Um, to finish up everything that I have to say, um, I work hard with Brian Young and Russ and, and Nate Yoder uh, with Prize Fight. Um, and on behalf of uh, Prize Fight MMA, I present this card Saturday night, and uh, I look forward to seeing everybody uh, at the show. And um, thank you for being here, and I appreciate it. Jamie, thank you very much. 15 fights, five title fights, an incredible event, $25 tickets at the DeSoto Civic Center, and the man behind it all, uh, prize fight MMA, is Brian Young. Let's invite Brian and welcome him up to share a few thoughts about Saturday. Thank you, Chuck, and I want to thank uh, the fighters to my left, uh, Brian and Chris and Austin, the fighters to my right. Uh, Brandon Harder, who's like a brother to me, um, you know, Cody Sheffield, Jacob, our two champions, um, Cody and Jacob, uh, wanna, wanna, want you guys, each and every one of you, um, I appreciate y'all being here, it's an honor to have y'all as champions, and current uh, champions and, and future champions, fight on, on a prize fight card. We're, we're honored, really, to have you guys, and I appreciate you guys. I want everybody just to give a quick round of applause to all the fighters. I, I know how, how hard these guys train, and this is what these guys have chosen to do with their life and their career, and they put their life and heart and soul into it every day. And, and I don't, you know, oftentimes as promoters, you know, we get stressed out, we, our minds get uh, a little out there, and we don't really thank the fighters enough and appreciate their efforts. And I just want you guys to know, each and every one of you up here, if I haven't said thank you, and I haven't said thank you for getting out and hustling and, and promoting and selling tickets, and, and uh, I just want you guys to know that uh, I, I'm sorry if I haven't thanked you guys and acknowledged you guys before, but I, I just want you to know that you guys are not uh, underappreciated and unnoticed. I appreciate you guys being world-class fighters, champions, and, and again, it's just an honor to have each and every one of you um, on this card. Um, I'd also like to thank Dave Ferguson uh, for all his help. I know he's been a tremendous help to Jamie. Uh, Dave is the king of MMA um, in this area, and not only this area, but he's so well respected around the country in MMA circles. Um, he is just a, a tremendous asset for prize fight, and I always feel very, very comfortable knowing that Dave is behind the show um, and, and, uh, and supporting us. So Dave, I'd like to thank you for being not only a local leader, the, the local leader in MMA, but one of the national leaders in MMA and has the total respect of everybody around the country and, and now around the world. So it's just an honor to have Dave Ferguson here as well. Um, Jamie Houston, uh, who again is, is, you know, I won't call him just a friend. He's, he's part of my family. Um, Jamie is an up-and-coming matchmaker. He's just put tremendous cards together in April and August, and now this one in October, and he told me this is the best one yet that he's put together, again, with Dave's help, and, and Jamie works tirelessly, tirelessly, to 
to put together a fan-friendly card. He knows that's what keeps fans coming back and, and what makes them happy and what keeps talk keeps the MMA fans in the area talking is the quality of, of the show. And, and Jamie um, takes goes to great lengths to ensure that, that we put on the best show possible with the best area fighters. So Jamie, I want to thank you not only for your friendship and your support, pal, but just for being a great professional and, and always being there for me and being in our corner. Everybody just give it up for Jamie Houston just for a quick minute. When Jamie first came to me about doing a show in October, of course, you know, I'm all for it. I want I want this Mid-South MMA Championship Series to continue to grow. Um, we had a great crowd, I think, in, 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 in April for our, for our inaugural uh, uh, event. Then we came back in August and the crowd was just phenomenal. It blew me away. I, I know, you know, Dave and I talked after after the show and he said it's definitely grown, growing. And, uh, and this show, uh, I mean, we saw, I just got off the phone, I was just talking with Melissa over at the DeSoto Civic Center, and she said, Brian, we're going to have to add more staff. The lower bowl is almost sold out. We're going to un unquestionably have to open up the upper bowl seats, which means I'm going to have to, to uh, you know, to, to hire more staff, uh, ushers and, and whatnot to work the upper bowl. And I thought, man, that's great. And she said, but you know, your bill goes up, the rent. So I said, well, all right. So with a little gain, there's a, there's a, there's a, a, another expense that comes with it, but I'm glad to do it. That means that people are interested. They're buying into the quality of the show that Jamie has put together. And I appreciate um, all of the media, the local MMA media has just been outstanding in, in supporting this, this series. And I uh, greatly appreciate all the Memphis media as well being here. Um, love you guys. We're, we're honored. I'm honored to be a promoter in this city with such a great and supportive uh, cast as our Memphis media. Um, uh, just to get back to the card real quickly and I'll finish up. Um, when Jamie first brought the idea of doing an October show, he mentioned Austin Lyons in the main event. And I said, Jamie, I I'm sold. Just if we can get Austin Lyons, who I think, and many others around the country that I've talked to, Austin is one of the hottest fighters in the country. Um, he is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, he is explosive. He is a future superstar, and I am honored to have him in our main event. He's fighting for the Mid-South lightweight title. And, uh, you know, fighting in his hometown here, you'd think maybe, well, we'll give him somebody, you know, maybe, you know, that, that's, that's a little under, under his level. And Jamie put him in with, uh, with Matt, a uh, trailer who, who is a phenomenal talent himself and is coming here to win. And it's a southpaw. And uh, a left-hander always gives fighters trouble. I don't care who you are. Southpaws are always hard to fight. And, of course, Austin being Austin Lyons said, I don't care who I fight. I want the title and I want to fight my hometown and uh, there's no question that Austin probably will make his UFC debut I would think sometime in the first quarter or first half of 2012 he is a superstar in the waiting he is phenomenal and I'm honored to have Austin Lyons one of the top up-and-coming fighters in the country who just happens to be born and bred right here in, in the Memphis area so it's going to be an honor to have you Austin in the main event i can't say enough about austin personally and how hard he works and how focused he is he's going to make memphis proud hopefully he'll come out on top he's in a brutal tough fight with matt who's coming in from knoxville matt trailer and and, and it promises to be be an explosive explosive and exciting fight hopefully austin comes out on top because his future is unlimited this the, the sky is the limit um also wanted to welcome uh, torian whitlow uh, stand-up fighter as our official clothier. They came on board their official clothing line at Prize Fight now. Uh, you'll see them all over the cage mat, the cage pads. Um, he'll be selling clothes in his merchandise booth right there at the DeSoto Civic Center. Um, everybody loves his clothing line. The best thing about Torian is not only does he have an outstanding clothing line, but he, he's just a great guy. I, I can call Torian at 10, 11 at night, 12 at night for that matter, like I did the other night. He met me over there in Midtown um, to help me on some stuff and, and uh, he has come on board as our official clothing line. So I want to welcome Torian Whitlow from Stand Up Fighter. We're absolutely honored to have you, Torian. Thank you so much for your friendship and, uh, and being a business partner now with Prize Fight and, and bringing Stand Up Fighter as the official clothing line. So Torian, thank you again and appreciate you being here. In, in closing, I'd like to say that the only tickets that we have available are a few remaining uh, lower bowl seats for $25.
for those of you that have been at the DeSoto Civic Center before, you know there's not a bad seat in the house. And uh, you know, you're, you're guaranteed a great seat. For 25 bucks, you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna get a night full of unforgettable MMA action. It is gonna be an outstanding night, and we, we hope and encourage everybody to come out and, uh, and support these fighters. They certainly are deserving of it. Um, also, before uh, I go, I wanna um, uh, recognize uh, Ken Bland, who's been working um, and training in our gym for years now. I'm glad to see that, that Ken is healthy now and, and back and, 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 and going. These fighters depend on Ken so much as a trainer. He's absolutely phenomenal. Ken, it's been a blessing and many prayers answered uh, that you get regained your health. And, you know, I, I know that you're loved and respected in this community and we appreciate you being here today. We appreciate all your hard work and we're just thrilled that, that you're back. And um, uh, folks, I just wanted to say thanks again for everybody taking a part of your day to be here. Uh, Cody Sheffield, and, and Jacob Noe, two of our champions, are, are going to be in action Saturday night. A few more champions will arrive. Um, fighters' careers will be born Saturday night. Some will be made. And uh, this is just going to be um, a, a night that you won't want to miss. And again, thank, thank you all for being here. Thank you for your friendship. And thank you for your support. God bless. And we will see everybody Saturday night. For the, for the media that is here, the fighters will be available for um, individual uh, interviews uh, right after we conclude. Thanks again and God bless. our press conference will make the uh, fighters available to the media you're welcome if you'd like to come up on the stage and interview them uh, fighters if you will let's go ahead and stand in fact let's have them all stand and maybe get a line behind the banner back there give you guys a shot if you want it uh, we'll make those available to you thank you for coming